Hey there, baby. <laughs> Hey, everypony, Bernie Axe here from Bro Productions. That was a Johnny Bravo impression. Yeah, so a friend pointed out to me uh, in the Friend in Deed episode, um, or Friend in Need, whatever it was, I can't remember. Um, <laughs> uh, I totally missed a Johnny Bravo reference. When uh, Cranky was around that blonde wig, that was a Johnny Bravo reference, and I totally missed that for some reason. Don't know why I didn't pick up on that sooner. Uh, so I'm a dumb dumb. Anyway, I just thought I'd mention that. Alright, um, so today I'm doing a blind reaction to Season 2, Episode 20 of My Little Pony. It's about time. Yes, it really is about time that I finally did this episode. <laughs> uh, yeah, that wasn't funny. Anyway, uh, no, the episode is called It's About Time. And I'm going to get straight into it. I have no idea what it's going to be about. Someone did actually mention that it's something to do with Doctor Who. It's going to have a Doctor Who reference in it or something. So, that's what someone said. They said, they, well, they just said... Alon Z in the comment that said, I'm not going to say anything, but Alon Z. And I'm like, oh, okay, it's a Doctor Who reference it's stuff. Anyway, let's get straight into this. Three, two, one, and go. Let's see how this goes and what comes out. Oh, right, Spike and Rarity. Rarity? Boy, I ship yes. it. What? It is an ice cream house. <laughs> um, what? Jingles. He's dreaming. There's... Yep. That huh? trotting sound. That's a really cool trotting sound. I need that sound effect. Oh, hi Spike. It's the middle of the night. Why are you pacing like this? Frankly, I don't know how you can sleep at a time like this. It's the middle of the night? A.M. Oh yeah, it's 3 a.m. Exactly. It's terrible. It's tragic. What is? Uh, what's happening? I don't understand. What's wrong? Yeah. Here. Now do you see what's wrong? Four. We forgot to celebrate Arbor Day. <laughs> no, the problem is I just finished wow. planning my schedule for the month, but I forgot to leave time to plan for next month. Huh? Don't you see? There's no time in my schedule to put together another schedule. Oh no! The pony will hay board to the following Tuesday, but then I have to reschedule my lunch with Pinkie Pie, and you know what a nightmare she is with scheduling. This oh, is an absolute no. disaster. It's my a disaster. Yes, it I could. I'm an ice cream dream for this. <laughs> Alright, so let's actually see what is going to go down in this episode. I really do hope Doctor Hooves appears in this episode, oh or something. Gosh. I think I did it! If I can find a way to read the Art of Invisibility spells... She looks so tired! Look at those bags under her eyes, man. That could leave me a half hour scheduling window. Ah! It's, what's happening? Yeah, it's the TARDIS! Did, uh... Did... Warp! Warp! I don't... Uh, I don't know. What is happening? No, it's Twilight from the future. I'm done. I'm so done. That looks cool though. <laughs> Twilight, you've got to listen to me. Who are you? I mean, you're who me, are you? But I'm me too. Huh? How can there be two me's? It's Shh. not scientifically possible. You yes, it are is. Not scientifically possible. She Twilight, she's please. a time traveler. I have a very important message for you from the future. You're from the future? That's right, now listen. <laughs> Do we have flying cars yet? The future must be awful. Please, I don't have much time. Is there some sort of epic pony war in the distant future or something? <laughs> Actually, I'm from next Tuesday morning. But that's not important Shout out to you, uh, right Fallout Equestrian. I can't believe time travel is really possible. <laughs> yeah. How did you, I mean I, figure it out? The time spells are in the Canterlot archives. But that's not... Really? Where? I've never seen them. <laughs> They're in the Star Swirl the Bearded Way. Well, she keeps now, asking them. To to is time travel fun or does it hurt? I have so many questions. <laughs> I have something extremely important to tell You'll you. You'll find out. Future. It's and you from the future. Whatever you do, don't turn into a load of no. dust on the ground. What was she trying to warn me about? Her clothes, her mane, that scar. Oh, what That's what she was warning you about. I mean, I am, or I. I'm going be. to become a mess in the future. Don't do it. She Choose life. That's what she was doing. Happens in the future. <gasps> but you're not going to be able to prevent it because what the hell, Pinkie Pie? Supplies get there? Whatever you're going to do, Help. you're still going to do it. Because you're part of events now. She's just crossed her own time stream. She's going to do all the things. That stash Listen, though. Pony, I've got something really important to say. Please just wear that for the rest of the series. It's funny. <laughs> this is no laughing matter. We have a crisis on our hooves. <gasps> oh no. Hey, I see Dr. Hooves or Time Turner. There he is. <laughs> 
tried to warn me about a horrible disaster that's going to occur sometime before next Tuesday morning. What kind of disaster? I don't know. I got sucked back into the future before I could explain. <laughs> Whatever what the hell, Pinky? Twilight. How do we stop the disaster if we don't know what it is? We'll just have to work together to make You're just going to be a part of events. Rainbow you can't stop it. It's impossible. Unless this kind of time travel works differently to Doctor Who, then I'm totally to just disaster. making a load of nonsense. And I mean anything. You got it. Every pony else. What the hell, Pinky? Pony else want to panic with me? No? Every pony else. Fucking love it. Disaster proof Equestria. That'd be fun. What are they going to do? No! Ah, cement. No matter what they do, they're not going to fix it. I'm telling you now, it's not going to work. I know my time travel. <laughs> yep. <laughs> As if anyone's gonna... What? That's... That's... Alright, that's... It's going too far now. Really? Really? That's... That's a disaster. One... I... I done, I'm done. done, and done. Yes, I am I'm done. done. Thank you, Twilight. What about the Everfree Forest? The perimeter's clear. Great. <laughs> and my team gave the all-clear from Philadelphia to Lost Pegasus. Excellent. Lost Pegasus? Well, that's a cool name. Well, we've done everything on the list. But still... Future Twilight looked like she'd been through a horrible ordeal. I just have this nagging feeling we should be looking for something bigger than this. <laughs> I get it, nagging bugs. feeling, because, you know, a nag is a... Anyway. Oh, it's Cerberus! Or something like Cerberus. Okay, it's a three-headed dog. Lead. Or it's Fluffy. It's either Cerberus or Fluffy. What is that thing? That's Cerberus. It is Cerberus! I know my class. stuff. But if he's here... Wait, the what the hell? Creatures that have been imprisoned there can escape and destroy Equestria. Destroy Equestria? Yeah, oh no! The entire Sorry. place. You look like you could use some obedience training. Magic obedience training. Huh? Who's the cute little three-headed dog? <laughs> really? Wow. I Should have known, Flasher. This is amazing. Just a big furry guy who got out of You got his kickstart going. Right, Cerberus? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Uh, not him. Pinky. Yes, Twilight? Do you have a ball I can borrow? I have ball stashed all over Ponyville. Oh. In case of ball emergency. <laughs> In case of ball emergency. I'm done. His face. If only he was that easy to tame in any other kind of uh, thing that he's in. I wish Twilight would go on epic adventures more often. Best night's sleep I've had in weeks. I wish she would go and uh, hey Twilight, on I'm epic so adventures much. more often. Great. I got him back before any of the evil creatures could escape. Oh no! What's a big deal? It's just a lost dog flyer. I guess the princess hasn't heard we found Cerberus yet. What's, it's what's not up? That. It's this. Ah, oh, she got a paper oh, cut. cut. Come on, Twilight. That's a pretty mean-looking paper just cut. Clean it out, and you'll be fine. The cut's in the exact same spot as the scar on Future Twilight's cheek. Exactly. You can't change the future. You at can't all. change the, the future. The disaster is still coming. You. You've crossed your own time tr stream. Future Twilight shouldn't have gone back to see you, because now that she's seen you and spoken to you, there's no way you could change what's going to happen. If she'd gone back and did it a different way, sure. Wow. That's a pretty neat groove. I did everything I could think of to change the future, but it didn't work. So maybe it's not what I do. Maybe it's what I don't do. No, that's still not gonna work. If you I can't right stop it. Don't move a muscle until next Tuesday. I can't possibly do whatever it is that Future Twilight wanted to warn me not to do. <laughs> She's just gonna stand there now. So, no matter what happens, you're not gonna move a muscle, huh? Ah, uh, Spike. Then maybe you won't mind if I <laughs> eat an entire tub of ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I love it. Spike. I love it. Mmm, ice cream. An entire tub full. Hmm, this ice cream's so good. Stop! Think of the stomach ache. Stomach ache. You don't care at the moment. Future spikes problem. Yeah. He's leaning on her now. Just got back from Baltimore with an all clear and. What's going on? Are you gonna stop him? She sure isn't. In fact, she's not gonna move till next Tuesday. She thinks it'll prevent the disaster from happening. Oh, this is too rich. Yeah. Hey, Twilight, there's a mouse right behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love it. Her wait, face, though. Wait, wait. Let me try. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's mean, but come on. You know you do the same. Oh, no. Uh, let me guess. The hair? I'm the so mane. Sorry. Sure that said show me. Oh no, this is the Damn. main cut as future twilight. You know, it really doesn't look too bad. I don't care <laughs> how it looks. It's just another sign that the future hasn't changed. Not doing anything didn't work either. She looked better with a bandana on though. There was a way to know what was going to happen so I could stop it. You want to You see can't stop it. I might know some pony who can help. Who? What's this? It's Madam Pinky's place. Oh no. Madam Pinky. No. No. The chamber of Madam Pinky. Pie. The chamber of Madam Pinky. Seek, let us consult the mystical orb of fate's destiny. <laughs> Shout out to that sweet turban. Like mystical orb of fate's destiny? <laughs> Got it. Cool, huh? Yeah. How convenient. Where did you get that from? Seen. Look deep into the crystal ball. Oh, she's been she's been hiding balls over all over Equestria. I guess that's one of them, right? That's it. Yep, cool birthday present. Pinky, I need your pinky sense to tell me what the impending disaster is that future Twilight was trying to warn me about. Oh, my fortune telling has nothing to do with my pinky sense, silly. It's only good for vague and immediate events. Like that. <laughs> like that. Where did that even come from? <laughs> yeah. How like she asked that now, yeah, in the, the episode where that first happened. She didn't question anything falling from the sky, like a fucking... Didn't a piano fall from the sky? Although... Actually, that was explained. Derpy was up there. <laughs> but still. Hey, the bandana! Where does she get that sweet leather outfit, though? She looks so tired, still. Of course she is. Oh, no, wait. The birthday present? Oh, shut up. Are you okay? Ah, uh, Pinky, I'm glad you're here. Can you help me recalibrate the apertures on the nine and quarter catadioptric telescopes? Sure. Uh. So I was thinking. Yeah. I, see Madame Pinky in the flower <laughs> I know exactly what that means. See the bandage, just like the bandage from Pinky the just doesn't question. Nice. She's like, sure. <laughs> I had I'll do it. I don't know what it is, but I'll do it. Doing things didn't work. Not doing things didn't work, and I couldn't predict the future either. So I only had one other choice. Monitor What's that? Everything. Oh. Makes sense to me. That way, no matter what happens in the future, I'll be ready. No, you I won't. Last night in the horse head nebula, but after staring at it for the horse head hours, nebula, that does sound like something in Doctor Who. But when did you sleep? Oh, I didn't sleep. I haven't slept since Future Twilight was here. There are only three days left until next Tuesday. I can sleep all I want after that. <laughs> you <laughs> too long, Twilight. Yeah. yeah. Tuesday's not three days from now. Spike, how much ice cream, tomorrow. man? You're gonna have like an ice cream headache, bro, for life. Hey, be careful. Did you finish recalibrating the apertures on the nine and quarter inch catadioptric telescopes? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. Ow. Hi, hi. Oh no, the patch. I have eye patches stashed all over Ponyville. Why? Eye patch emergency. Uh, there. God damn it. Now you look like a pirate. A sleepy Yarg. Weird main cut. The eye patch. Another sign. All she needs is that leather outfit. I haven't done a thing to prevent the catastrophe. If Tuesday's tomorrow and the 
disaster happens by Tuesday morning, then there's only one solution. I'll just have to stop time. Why don't you just sleep on Tuesday? That still won't do it, though. Okay. There's the outfit. The archives are right over there. Let's move. <laughs> Spike of his ice cream. He just has an ice cream. Secret Agent Twilight. I don't think we need to sneak around, Twilight. It's not illegal to walk around Canterlot. <laughs> Come on, you guys. <laughs> I don't think he's, he's. That was close. I don't know why we have to wear these things either. Aren't we wearing them for fun? No, there's nothing fun about this. Oh, are you sure? Focus, guys. <laughs> The only way to prevent this disaster is to stop time. Time spells are kept in the Star Swirl the Bearded Wing, the most secure section of the archives. That's why we're sneaking around. Awesome! That sounds fun! No, it's not fun! Aw, <laughs> oh, but fun, though. <laughs> I still don't understand how uh -oh. sneaking into the archives is going to help her find out about her birthday present. <laughs> Pinky just doesn't have a clue. I love it. And then there's a spike of his ice cream. He's just there. He's just along for the ride. Hmm, ice cream. <laughs> Let's get this over with. Dun 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 dun. Oh. <laughs> Why did he turn his light off then? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad we see more of Spike in this episode. This is great. If my calculations are correct. The Star Swirl the Bearded Wing should be right here. Uh, Twilight? What is it, Spike? Isn't this where we came in? Cool! Can we climb in the window again? That was super fun. <laughs> I don't understand. It's supposed to be right here. How are we supposed to find it now? Maybe we should ask some pony in the Star Swirl the Bearded Wing. How did they not see that? that? Look at yeah, how did they miss that? It's stories. right there. There are more I love than it. I ever imagined. Twilight, the card. What do we do? What do we do? Hey, Twilight. I haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> Let me open that for you. <laughs> what the? <laughs> hey, Twilight. I haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> Let me open that for you. <laughs> I love it. Twilight, the last you do. Has come true. And that's bad, right? Come on. It's almost Tuesday morning. The disaster could happen at any moment. But how do we find the time stopping spell? There must be a million scrolls here. I don't know. Is there a time stopping spell? I mean. He's falling asleep. You can do it. No, you can't. <laughs> Twilight, it's over. It's officially Tuesday morning. You're gonna have to go back and tell your other self, but don't do it. What is the disaster? I don't know, Twilight. I don't see any disasters. It looks like a pretty nice day. Good morning, Twilight. Love the new hairstyle. Well, happy Tuesday. Really? Morning, Twilight. Love the new hairstyle. Happy Tuesday. Excuse me? Happy Tuesday. Who says that? Happy Tuesday. What's so special about Tuesday? It's the next day? I don't get it. Okay. Twilight wasn't warning you about a disaster. She was warning you not to go back in time and cause it in the first place. I don't know, but I do know one thing. I look ridiculous. <laughs> That's the warning. Yeah, you do. <laughs> and it's all because I couldn't stop worrying and let the future handle itself. Well, not anymore. From now on, I'm going to solve problems as they come and stop worrying about every little thing. That's great. Does that mean there won't be any more late night pacing? No more late night pacing. If only I had learned this lesson a week ago, we wouldn't have had to go through all this. Twilight, Twilight, I found something. It doesn't stop time, but it lets you go back in time. It says you can go back once, and it only lasts for a few moments. Does that help? 
Pinky, you're a genius. And this is where she goes back to warn herself to do the exact same thing again. She's on a paradox loop. But it will come. And here we go. Twilight, you've got to listen to me. Who are you? I mean, you're me, but I'm me too. How can there be two me's? It's not scientifically possible. You are not scientifically possible. Twilight, please, I have a very important message for you from the future. You're from the future? That's right, now listen. What happened to you? The future must be awful. <laughs> please, I don't have much time. Is there some sort of epic pony war in the distant future or something? Actually, I'm from next Tuesday morning. But that's not important right now. Actually, I'm from next Tuesday morning. Time travel is really possible. How did you, I mean I, figure it out? The time spells are in the Canterlot archives. But that's not... Really? Where? I've never seen them. They're in the star swirl the bearded wing. Now you have to listen to... Is time travel fun? Or does it hurt? <laughs> I have so many questions. I have something extremely important. Important to tell you about the future, and I only have a few seconds, so you've got to listen. Whatever you do, don't waste your time worrying about. Exactly. Uh, Paradox loop. You can't it. cancel it out. Did you tell her about the cool birthday present? Remember last week when Future Twilight came to warn me about something? That was me trying to warn myself not to worry so much. Exactly. Now I'm gonna spend the next week freaking out about a disaster that doesn't even exist. <laughs> I don't worry about it. It's past Twilight's problem now. That's true. <laughs> oh, I guess you're right, Pinky. Oh, my stomach. And here's Future Spike. <laughs> I think it's all that ice cream. No, really. I thought the stomach gig would be Future Spike's problem. You are Future Spike well, now, now, Spike. I am Future Spike. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Epic fail. <laughs> Come on, future Spike. Let's get you home. Well, that was an awesome as fuck episode. <clears throat> I knew, I, I, I knew you. It's a paradox loop. You can't change what's happened once you've gone back and seen yourself. You shouldn't even be able to do that. Don't go back and see yourself, telling, warning something, because you're not going to be able to change it. If you go back and not warn yourself and do something else instead although i suppose i wouldn't make the se i wouldn't make any sense either because there was no disaster if you hadn't have gone back and warned yourself in the first place there wouldn't be a disaster the disaster was you going back and seeing yourself that was a disaster because you caused uh, uh hey, my brain anyway you get the picture i'm gonna just shut up now I love this episode, by the way. It was great. We got to see more of Spike. Um, future time travel stuff is awesome. I love it. Um, big fan of that stuff. I, I'm. Uh, by the way, uh, this is a minor spoiler for my Burning X series. There's sort of time travel in that, but I'm not going to tell you when or how it happens or what it's going to be like. But let's just say it's got time travel in it. Anyway, I'm done talking and I'm going to end this reaction now. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, like it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hey, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see some more stuff, then don't forget to show your support by bro humping that subscribe button. Oh, and take this free muffin. It's a transmorphic muffin, which means it's awesome. Alrighty then. See you later, everypony. Bye.